Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss properties of indefinite integrals. The first property is, as we know that process of differentiation and integration are inverses of each other, so we get that d by dx of integral fx dx is equal to fx and integral f dash x dx is equal to fx plus c and this c is any arbitrary constant. The next property is two indefinite integrals with the same derivative lead to the same family of curves and so they are equivalent. Next property is integral fx plus gx dx is equal to integral fx dx plus integral gx dx. Then we have for any real number k integral k fx dx is equal to k into integral fx dx. The next we have the properties 3 and 4 can be generalized to a finite number of functions f1, f2 and so on up to fn and real numbers k1, k2 and so on up to kn giving integral k1 f1x plus k2 f2x plus and so on up to kn fnx dx is equal to k1 integral f1x dx plus k2 integral f2x dx plus and so on up to kn integral fnx dx. Let's try and find out the value of i equal to integral 2x square plus e to the power x dx. Here we have two functions in the integrand. 2x square is one function and e to the power x is, is the second function. Now using this third property according to which we have integral fx plus gx dx is equal to integral fx dx plus integral gx dx. We get that i is equal to integral 2x square dx plus integral e to the power x dx. Now for this integral we will use this fourth property which says that for any real number k integral k fx dx is equal to k into integral fx dx. So this becomes equal to 2 integral x square dx plus integral e x dx. Now this is equal to 2 x cube upon 3 plus e to the power x plus c. That is we have i is equal to 2 upon 3 x cube plus e to the power x plus c where the c is the constant of integration. Thus this is how we use the properties of indefinite integrals to find the value of the integrals. Next we shall discuss the comparison between differentiation and integration. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव दैट बोथ आर ऑपरेशंस ऑन फंक्शंस सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी the next we have both satisfy the property of linearity according to which we have d by dx of k1 f1x plus k2 f2x is equal to k1 d by dx of f1x plus k2 d by dx of f2x and integral k1 f1x plus k2 f2x dx is equal to k1 integral f1x dx plus k2 integral f2x dx here these k1 k2 are the constants and we know that all functions are not differentiable and also all functions are not integrable next we have derivative of a function when it exists is a unique function an integral of a function is unique up to an additive constant that is the two integrals of a function differ by a constant next is when a polynomial function p is differentiated the result is a polynomial whose degree is 1 less than the degree of p and when a polynomial function p is integrated the result is a polynomial whose degree is one more than that of p next we have we can speak of the derivative at a point but we never speak of the integral at a point integral of a function is always over an interval on which the integral is defined then the derivative of a function has a geometrical meaning namely slope of the tangent 
to the corresponding curve at a point and the indefinite integral of a function represents a family of curves. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the properties of indefinite integral and the comparison between differentiation and integration.